Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to learn the importance of unions in C language, how to declare a union and also how to define variables for unions for accessing the elements of unions. Let's get started. So unions is like structure is useful for creating user defined data type except that all members will start at the same memory location. But in case of structure, as we discussed earlier in few of our videos, structures will follow the same consequent memory locations starting from first element of the structure. But in case of union, all the elements will be starting from the base address of the union. That is the major difference between structure and union. Other than that, both are same. Both are useful for creating user defined type and also both methodologies for declaring and defining a union as well as declaring and defining a structure is same. And union variables can represent only one of its member elements at a time. That is, union uses shared memory, so you can access and use only one element of the union at a time in your program because it uses shared memory location. So, you can see on the screen the declaration method for structure as well as union. Both are having two elements unsigned char A and unsigned int B. But the major difference between declaration of structure and declaration of union is the first variable of the structure will be having or starting from a particular value let's take it to be 0x 4000 and the next variable will be available in the next consequent uh, address let's take it to be 0x 402 but both the elements that is available inside the union will be starting from the same base address so this is the major difference between declaration of union as well as declaration of structure you structure uses memory as a whole so the total size of elements available in the structure will be the size of the structure but in case of union the maximum size of variable that is available inside the union will be the maximum size of union it uses shared memory space and you cannot access all the elements of the union at a time in your program but in case of structure you can access individual elements as much as you can inside your program let us try to declare and uh, use union in our program practically so whatever the technologies or techniques that we learned for declaring structures is applied for unions also the type one of declaring structure like what we learned union of let's take it to be embedded systems care of hardware and int of software you can declare union like this and further you can just declare variables for this union and let me just try to show you the shared memory space done by union so size is equal to percentage d comma size of es1 when i run this you can see the size is 4 but the actual size is the char will be consuming 1 byte and the int will be consuming 4 bytes so the total size of union goes like the maximum element size that is available inside the union so in this union we are having char and int so the maximum size capacity is with the int variable so int is 4 bytes and char is 1 byte so it is taking the size of the int to be the size of union and also you cannot access both of these at a time since the union uses shared memory space so for writing to the union elements you can write like yes one you can use the same dot operator for writing to the union like this. So using this methodology you can just write two different elements of the union by declaring and defining variables for the respective union. And you can read the union parameters with the help of same dot operators like this so using the dot operators you can just write to different elements of the union by declaring and defining a variables for that respective union and also different uh, 
Declaration methodologies that we learnt for declaring structures also applies for union like this. You can declare like this or you can declare like this. or you can declare like without giving any name you can just declare variables right over here near the union at the end of union or you can also declare like type def union that we did for structure and you can provide the name right over here embedded systems and then you can create variables for that union right over here like this. So all these methodologies that we did for structure also applies for union except that this union uses shared memory space and you cannot access all the elements of the union at a time as a whole in your program and also the size of union is the maximum size of data type variable that is available inside the union that is the maximum size of maximum element that is available inside the union it uses shared memory space and all the elements will be starting from the base address of the union that's it so i hope you learned the importance of union how you can declare union in various ways and the major difference between structure and union in c language in this video see you in the next video thanks for watching